What's going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to minimize code blocks or enable code folding in Jupyter Notebook. So what I mean by minimizing code blocks or folding code is as you can see on the left hand side of this code block here I have a little arrow and when I click it it minimizes the whole thing. So if this is what you're looking for this is the video for you. Now one thing I will say about this is for blocks of code that have pipelines or for loops or if statements, it's not as easy to minimize the whole thing because you can also minimize the for loops as well. So this is also good for organizing your code. If you have a bunch of it and a bunch of blocks, you want to just minimize them and open them later. You can do it that way. But just beware that if you use if statements and for loops, there will be more than one arrow is what I'm trying to say. You can also minimize those as well. So yeah, as you can see, there's a pipeline in here. You can minimize that, minimize this for loop, and then minimize the whole thing. But yeah, that's enough of that. I'm gonna show you guys how to get this. So basically, this is a GitHub that adds on extensions to your Jupyter Notebook. You just have to install it through pip, and then you'll be able to use a bunch of different extensions, not just code, code folding. As you might see in another one of my videos, you can also minimize headers, and this gives you a lot of additional functionality for Jupyter Notebook. So I'm gonna paste this link for this GitHub in the description of this video, but as you can see on here, there is documentation if you want to read all the extensions you can use, and then there's the installation steps. So let's just install this real quick. I'm gonna go to the start menu here, and then just start typing Anaconda prompt and I want to use my anaconda prompt for this let me just get my file path really quick copy address okay I'm gonna drag this over so you guys can see it all right go to the data uh, go to my hard drive because this is on my hard drive and then I'm going to go to my file path and then I'm going to install this package so I'm just going to drag this and then drag this here. And I'm going to copy this whole thing and paste it here and hit enter. Control C and Control V to paste if you guys don't know that. But yeah, see it is installing now. It's not done yet until it gives me the file path again. Okay, now it's done. And we're not quite done installing just yet because oh, I'm losing my mouse. Okay, because we have to also install the JavaScript and CSS files. But I just want to mention, if you're using the Anaconda prompt, you don't have to worry about these conda install commands at all. You can just use pip. So uh, we have to also install these. So I'm going to control C this and then control V it in here and then hit enter. Okay, now all the JavaScript and CSS files have been installed. Um, and now we can just enable and disable the extensions we want. So if you scroll down in the GitHub, there's actually instructions on how to enable and disable these extensions. Um, you can just copy this command, but <laughs> conveniently for the sake of this video, they've actually pasted the command for code folding. So just copy this whole command here jupyter nb extension enable code folding slash main and just go to your command prompt and paste it now i will also mention i have another anaconda prompt running here which is running my jupyter notebook i have opened two of them one of them to install stuff and one of them to just run my jupyter notebook just to avoid confusion but okay as you can see validating okay so it's been uh, turned on but it was already on in the first place so if I refresh this code folding will be working like it was before I already had it installed I just wanted to show you guys the steps for it again yeah there we go and you can just minimize your code as I showed you before but if you want to disable this there's an ex there's a command right here underneath so just copy this control C paste it in your command prompt and then add this part at the end here and then hit enter okay so now code folding has been disabled and now when I refresh this page
Boom. We have regular Jupyter Notebook. You can no longer minimize these code blocks. As you can see, there's no more arrow on the side here to minimize anything. This arrow right here is just to run your code, so that's not what we want. It's not what we want, so yeah. That's how you enable and disable code folding or minimizing code in Jupyter Notebook. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.